What's going on guys, Shane here. So you're about to follow along step-by-step -step with Vince the Anomaly and his home solo grappling drills. I love this class you're about to take right here because it's the kind of exercises where you don't feel like you're working out, but then next thing you know, your legs are on fire and then you start to realize all the gains that you're making. It's perfect because no one has a partner to train with right now and we're limited with the equipment that we have. So that's why we put together this one week solo MMA training regimen for you all. And it's completely free by the way on fighttips.com. We had a couple people last week asking where they can find all the videos. It's simple. Click that link right down there in the description or go to fighttips.com, click on courses, and then go to solo MMA training and then start watching and following along to the videos. So you don't even have to be a member to watch these videos, but if you do become a member, then you get access to all of our courses on there. Like the MMA IQ Roadmap, the Hybrid Striking Course, and the 18-step Footwork Shadow Boxing Program. I know times are tough for everyone right now, but at least we have time. You wanna come out of this quarantine looking like Goku coming out of the hyperbolic time chamber. Stay fit, stay healthy, stay safe, and enjoy the following drills with Vince the Anomaly. What's up guys, Vince the Anomaly here, and today for our Fight Tips home workout, we are gonna be focused more on the grappling base. So we're gonna warm up with some grappling base movements, and then for our workout portion, we're gonna do a lot of emphasis and focus here on the legs. You're gonna need strong legs, powerful legs, if we're gonna be wrestling, if we're gonna be doing jiu-jitsu, anything grappling base, you need to have these bad boys solid. So without further ado, let's hop into our warm up. All right guys, we are gonna start with a five movement warm up drill. So each movement is going to be for one minute and we're gonna do five different ones. I want you guys to follow along with me. Some of you probably already know these, so they should be easy. Doesn't matter, either way I'll be talking you through these and we can get some different camera angles for you too. So we are gonna start off here. We're gonna start off shrimping in place. One minute. For this movement to stay in place, make sure that we are getting our hip off the ground. We're up on this one foot here. Now I'm able to get up on this shoulder, so I'm able to bring this hip off the ground and I can properly shrimp in place. I'm also doing a little bit of a leg curl here to make sure that my body is staying central and I'm not moving all the way up the mat. Now if you are at home on your carpet and you don't mind the mat burn, you can go up and down the carpet but for now, guys, we can just shrimp in place. As you know, this is a movement that's going to be crucial in jiu-jitsu, in MMA. Being able to shrimp or essentially hip escape, get out of side control, things like that. You're going to be using it all the time. Let me square up real quick so you can see from this angle here. All right, one minute down. Now we are going to go straight into our bridges. So with this movement here, guys, what we're going to do is get our hips up, bridge up on our hips, and we're going over the top over our shoulder, just like this. Hips up and turn after we've already bucked up. You can imagine if someone's got you mounted, we want to make sure we get our hips up, get their weight off of us, and then we start to roll them over. So hips up and then we turn. Get on this angle so you guys can see. All right, 10 more seconds. Make sure you're engaging those glutes. All right, time. Now next, we're gonna go inverted. This one's gonna be a little bit more difficult if you guys haven't been training much Jiu Jitsu, but we're gonna try anyways. So I'm gonna be rolling over, going inverted just like that. What I'm doing is I'm keeping all my limbs going forward the whole time. So I'm rolling over my shoulder, getting up, I'm curling my neck in. So essentially I'm going inverted here and I'm gonna be rolling my body all the way through. Try to keep everything going forward. I'm not rolling over and getting stuck. The reason I'm not getting stuck, I'm tucking this arm underneath my body so I can roll through. One more time. Beautiful. Next movement here. We are going to go for our sit out. So we're gonna get on all fours just like this. 
what I'm going to be doing is bringing this back leg through for our sit out. Good, keep the core engaged. Remember right now, we're doing a warm up. So it isn't a race. We want to make sure we get all of these muscle groups firing because we're going to need them in a sec once we start going 100%. Get on a nice angle. here guys we are going to be throwing up our triangles so the most important part about this one I'm not just trying to leave my legs down here we want to snap our hips up so we want to get our hips in the air and we can triangle our legs even if we're not trying our legs here guys the real warm-up is getting used to that motion right there shooting our hips up and high and that's how you're gonna to start to to wrap someone up in a triangle we want to get the hips up high you feel it in your core, guys, and your abs. Change the angle. Hips up first, then triangle the legs. Seconds. Remember to breathe. All right, and time. Good work, guys. All right, guys, let's move into the main workout portion of today's class. Now, what it's going to consist of is four basic movement patterns, and we're going to do those for 30 seconds each, which equals two minutes of total work. Then we're going to pause. That's going to be one set. We're going to take a break. Ideally, we want to keep that rest period between one to two minutes. Ideally, working closer to one or even less than that. And then we're going to go ahead and repeat that whole set for four more times, which equals 10 minutes of total work. Okay, so four movement patterns, 30 seconds each, one minute break, and then we're going to do that four more times. All right, so moving into our first pattern here, I'm going to go through, through everything with you so you guys can see it. And then I'll do one full set with you for time. You guys can pause the video, repeat that four more times. But our very first movement here is going to be our split lunge jump. Okay, so basically we want to be in this stance where we're almost doing a split squat, right, or a lunge, and we want to be jumping. Now I'm not going to try to jump as high as I can, but what I am going to be doing is kind of getting like this pulse jump, okay, just going straight up and down. Notice I'm not bringing my knee too far over my toes. We don't want that. It's going to be bad on our knees. But I am focused on using my arms here to just be jumping up and down. Okay, now for this, we're gonna do this 15 times on each side, which equals roughly 30 seconds. So 30 seconds of work doing that split lunge jump. Next, we are going to switch to our second movement pattern, which if you guys have pads at home, we're gonna be sprawling immediately into a shot. Okay, sprawl, shot. Again, sprawl and shot. Now notice here guys, on this sprawl, I'm dropping my hips low, I'm coming right back up, and I'm immediately in a, in a stance as if I took a penetration step already, right? So I'm down, I'm bringing this leg up, and I'm already exploding through, keeping my body low the whole time, so I'm in a good wrestling stance. I'm not getting back up here, turning around, sprawling, and going. I wanna make sure I'm staying low the whole time. Sprawl and shot. Now, if you guys don't have a pad here, you don't wanna be beating up your knees on the ground, what you can be doing here is just straight lunges, all right? Forward, walking lunges, you can go backwards as well, but we're gonna be doing that for 30 seconds of work. Next, we are gonna be jumping sideways and then up, okay? So for this one, guys, we are gonna be getting low, both feet on the ground, we are gonna jump for distance going sideways, then jump for distance going up high. Notice, each time when I jump, I'm using my hands. It's gonna look something like this. Alright, now I want to 
make sure I'm landing perfectly, right? So I'm evenly dispersing the power and force that's coming through my feet. I'm not landing with my heels on the ground. That's going to mess up my knees. That's going to mess up my form. I want to make sure I'm kind of rolling down, hitting on the balls of my feet, coming down, and then exploding up. Just like that. Okay, so our side to side and jumps for height. Next, and for our last movement, what we're going to be doing, really basic guys, just our wrestling stance. We're going to get nice and low here, pretty much like we're in a squat, and we're going to be holding. Okay, keep your arms out for balance if you need to, but we want to make sure our butt is at least parallel to the ground, just like this, and we're in a nice wrestling stance. I'm not curling my neck down, I'm not rounding my back, keeping my back, my chest up, my head up high. I'm going to hold this for 30 seconds. All right, wrestling stance, just like that. Okay, guys, so. We've got four basic movement downs. Let me go through these with you. You're gonna pause the video and do it four more times. Before we get into this, make sure you are totally stretched out and warmed up in your legs. I know we already did our warm up, but because we're gonna be doing a bunch of jumping and stuff, we wanna make sure we're not really tight anywhere. We don't wanna be pulling any muscles here while we're on quarantine. So if you need to, make sure that you get a little bit more dynamic uh, warm up in, so dynamic stretching and everything and then hop right back into this point right here, okay? So I'm gonna do this with you for one set. Remember, 30 seconds of words for, for each exercise, guys. Are you ready? Let's get in our stance for our first side here on our split lunge jumps. 30 seconds of work. So remember, this one's 15 seconds, or excuse me, 15 jumps on each side. Let's hit it. Don't be rounding too far forward. Don't bring that knee too far over the toes. If you need to go back to the other side, if you've already done 15, 15, do it. All right, perfect. Now, shots. Sprawls and shots. Good. So nice and low. Remember, we're not standing all the way up. We're staying down. If you don't have a pad here, we can just be working on our straight lunges. Good, five more seconds. Perfect guys, now jumping side to side. This one's a lot of energy and a lot of power. Make sure I'll already be burning. Perfect, last one guys, hold, 30 seconds. It's hard to talk and do this at the same time. I don't know how Shane does it. <laughs> Good work guys, 20 more seconds. Make sure that butt's nice and low. You should feel that burn in your legs. Keep your arms out. If you're having trouble balancing, if you have tight hips, like I do, I need to keep my arms a little out further. Keep my balance here, keep that head up, chest up, three more seconds, time. Woo. How's it going? Awesome guys, so break, one minute to two minutes. You'll notice the legs start burning, especially from those split lunge jumps in the beginning, and then those other jumps, and the third set. That stuff, that stuff is pretty tough, so make sure that you guys are taking a nice long break, get those legs re-energized, and we're gonna hit it, four more sets. Awesome work guys, you made it through. That was pretty tough. All of the jumping around and stuff, really it's, it's not easy to do that. It's great for building that leg endurance and building up that power. When we're moving around in a fight, we wanna be explosive throughout the whole fight, not just the first round, not just for the first five minutes. And drills like this, man, they're really gonna help build up that leg endurance and that leg strength. So, good work today. Now let's uh, finish off with a little cool down here. We're just gonna do some basic stretching here to, to kind of really target the legs and everything we worked on today. First, we're gonna start off with a quad stretch here. So 30 seconds on each side. I'm gonna go ahead and pick my foot up. And what I'm trying to do too is make my pelvis kind of level and tilt it up a little bit as well. You're really gonna feel that stretch down there in your quad. And you can start bringing your heel to your butt. If you're super flexible, like Shane, you can get even deeper and get a deeper stretch going here. 
Five more seconds. Let's switch sides here so you can see again, I'm out on this one foot. I'm bringing this back leg up and I'm gonna try to keep my body, my chest up, my head up high. I'm gonna tilt my pelvis down and curl it back up so I can really feel that stretch just up here at the bottom, but also right here closer up towards the hip. Just switch my hands so I can see the time. 10 more seconds. Next, we're gonna be moving into a calf stretch, guys. So we'll go ahead and hit this right calf. Let's try to get our heel down to the mat here. The better you are with these, you can get your heel down and start bringing your hips back as well. You get a little bit deeper stretch. Ten more seconds on this side. Try to ease further and further down for each breath. Switch it up. Let's get that left leg now. Now you'll notice too guys, you can kind of target different parts of the calf depending on where you put your foot. If I angle my toes more towards the right, if I angle them more towards the left, I'm going to open up different parts of the calf. So if you have a, a place that's a little bit more tender that needs a little bit more stretching, you can mess around with that toe angle and try to get those there. Five more seconds of this. Perfect, now let's go back into that lunge. So step that left leg through. I'm gonna to try to get my left elbow down to where my left heel is on the mat. And I'm really gonna be opening up here at the hips, feeling your hamstrings. Make sure to breathe, especially after that workout, guys. We really wanna make sure we cool down, we stretch these legs out. It'll probably be sore for a couple of days. Sorry about that. Good sore though. Switch sides. Fifteen more seconds. Now for these uh, warm ups and cool downs, guys, on the website we have Shane's uh, ten minute warm up, ten minute cool down as well. Those are great ones to take a look at if you want to add more length, more time, or if you want more options for these. Those are perfect videos to watch. Now let's go ahead on that same side. We're gonna pull and curl our toes back and I'm gonna bring both my hands down to the mat and I'm gonna work these hamstrings right here, okay? So I'm turning my shoulders, kind of squaring my hips, trying to turn my hips forward and then down and you can really feel it in your hamstring, guys, in your hamstrings. Again, we can kind of tilt and turn our foot to see where and which part we wanna hit more. If you have an area that's a little bit tighter, a little bit more sore, Go ahead and feel free to, to dig into those different spots. See, now let's switch sides. Again, curl those toes up. And I'm gonna turn, I'm not keeping my shoulders this way. I'm turning them down towards my leg, towards the mat. And I'm breathing and I'm sinking a little bit lower each time. Stretching everything out here. Good, 10 more seconds. All right, and for our final stretches here, guys, we're gonna go down, we're gonna hit our back, our mid and lower back here. What I'm gonna be doing is taking my left knee, I'm bringing over the right side of my body, and now I'm looking over to where my hand is, okay? So I'm using my right hand to grab my left knee, bring it down to the mat. I'm gonna breathe, relax, try to get my left shoulder to the mat, and look over to that left hand. is really good guys for those of you who are tight, who are sharpening up your crosses, your kicks. It's usually just tightness in the back here that's kind of pulling on everything as well. So this is great if you guys feel like that straight right or that straight left, that cross isn't really extending the way you want it to. Usually this is the problem right here, is this flexibility. So this is great motion to go ahead and target that and help make sure you lengthen your punches. Two more seconds, and it's on. Awesome, so, great work today, guys. Leave some comments, I'd love to hear what you think about this, what you liked, what you didn't like. Uh, but yeah, let's get it in. We have another one coming for you tomorrow, and that's gonna be the shame.